Herbert Hunky was born in Greenfield, Massachusetts in 1915. At the age of four, his family moved to Detroit, and at six to Chicago, where his father ran a machine part distributing company. As a teen, Hunky grew up in a disturbed family and got a fast start as he quickly became acquainted with love, drugs, sex, and the road. At the age of 12, Hunky had already run away from his home in Chicago, so he was brought back to the city by the authorities. It only took a few more years till he left for good at the age of 16. While becoming familiar with the road, Hunky acquired a habit on drugs and felt the need to look for them. Not only looking for drugs, Hunky searched for freedom as he escaped the chaos and restrictions of family life back home. It was 1939 when Hunky started his hitchhiking journey as he made his way through Niagara Falls, Texas, Massachusetts, and Boston. It was Providence where he stayed for a short while till he realized it just wasn't for him. From Providence, Hunky hitchhiked his way to New York, where the streets were long and the people were loud. It was then when Hunky had realized that he was finally home. For most of his life, he lived in an old red hotel named Chelsea. It didn't take very long before Hunky met Allen Ginsberg in New York, where they became close friends. Hunky is often said to be one of the first beats of his time. He first described the word beat in his 1965 publication of Hunky's journal to be someone with no money and very few prospects. When asked how he was doing, Hunky would sometimes reply, I'm beat to my socks, meaning he was just tired. He never intended the word to be elevating or happy. Hunky first introduced the word to Burroughs, Ginsburg, and Kerouac in the fall of 1945. Three years later, Kerouac mentioned the word in the conversation he was having with John Holmes. So I guess you might say we're a beat generation. It was then that Holmes introduced the word to the public in 1952 in an article he wrote for the New York Times entitled, This is the Beat Generation. Just like that, Hunky's one description of his life went mainstream. Herbert Hunky, a high school dropout and 42nd Street hustler, went on to publish two more books after his 11 year prison sentence. The Evening Sun Turned Crimson in 1980 and The Guilty of Everything in 1990. Fine. Doing as we desire some things together, or on other times going off on our own, never knowing when we would meet again. Regardless, the inconsistency, liking strange attachments, which always brought us back together seemingly destined to last to whatever end. As a matter of fact, seldom bothered with the thought. That's it.